3 3D printing is great, and typically we've got an X, a Y, and a Z, and we print within this build volume, and we're limited by a build volume. What if we weren't limited by a build volume? What if we had an infinite axis to print on? It's like the slow-moving Zamboni from Austin Powers. <laughs> you're, you're about to be killed by a Zamboni! It builds the excitement, though. I think that's what's going on. <laughs> Satisfying! We're going to talk about an infinite Z and how you can print forever, right here on 3D Printing Nerd. Uh, welcome back. I've got this piece here in my hand, and I've got Carl right next to me. Hey, Carl. Hi. What is this? Uh, I believe it's a belt printer. <laughs> that, that's what I was trying to build anyway. It looks incredible. Uh, it's got a 45 degree angle here, right? Correct. Correct. And it's called the White Knight. Yes, called the White Knight because, well, I saw what Black Belt wanted for their printer. Way too much. Printer belt tried to do it, and we saw what happened to printer belt. So I decided I was gonna build a belt printer that the whole community could build and try to do it cheaper. Right now, building materials is under two grand. Under $2,000 for materials, open source, anybody can make this. Correct. Where did this start? Where did this crazy idea come? You said that you, you like the idea of the black belt, but at its price range, it's well out of the, it's well out of the range of many people. Yes. Midnight Giant here. Last year we met here and we got talking about all the swords and stuff that he makes and everything. I said, dude, you're printing these in like 10, 12 pieces. You need a belt printer. He goes, have you seen the price of the black belt? We were originally looking at buying a printer belt and see if we could make it bigger. And then printer belt fell off the map. And so I said, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to do this now. And last November I started playing around in Microsoft 3D Builder with some DBot files and it turned into this. This is 3D Builder, Microsoft 3D Builder? All of it. That's amazing. It's a wonderful app, but I just usually you hear people saying Fusion 360 or SolidWorks exactly. or, or whatever. 3D Builder. 3D Builder. I wish I knew Fusion. I would love to redo all these parts in Fusion because it's so hard working in 3D Builder and I watch people build stuff in Fusion. And for me, if a hole's out of alignment, I have to slice the model, move the hole. I can't delete it and put it somewhere else. I could probably build it in half the time if I knew how to use Fusion. So from the beginning, you started in 3D Builder. You had an idea and you wanted to have a belt printer. So from there, how did it become this? Because here's, here's why I'm asking. This is polished. This looks like a final product, not something some very passionate enthusiast built at their home, Carl. Uh, OCD meets car guy meets 3D printer. I, I started off building hot rods as a kid and you don't build anything without putting all the fine details, the polish, the racing stripes. <laughs> the underglow, and I had to hide all the wires because you know I, I did eight years in retail auto sales before I took my current job, and salesmanship's everything. If it doesn't look cool, people won't want it. Whether I decide to you know, allow companies, well, it's open source, anybody can make kits, but if I decide to back any companies that want to make kits or anything, I wanted it to be impressive, I wanted it to look cool. And well, I wanted to get your attention. You did? You got my attention, absolutely. I saw this at a printed solid meetup. I saw someone had filmed it, someone had taken pictures, and I was, blown away and I was really hoping I was going to get to see it here at Murph. Uh, I'll admit we've met three times and I was like always very shortly I'm like I gotta do something to get Joel to stop and talk to me. <laughs> so I, I see I succeeded. You, you've done very well uh, and you talked about hiding wires you didn't just hide the wires you've ran them beautifully. Yeah, they're all either run inside the extrusion or through this in Mike's case, high pressure fuel line, because we wanted it to look extra cool. Yes, it's high pressure fuel fittings, high pressure fuel line, just because Mike wanted black and blue and shiny and pretty. It does look cool. <laughs> Thank you. What are the uh, specs on this? Because obviously it's infinite Z, correct? Uh, 400 on the X, approximately 430 on the Y. I haven't printed anything to max it out, but by tape measure, it's roughly 430. I could probably try and do the trigonometry and figure out exactly what it is, but that, that requires more thought than I have left in my brain at this point. Someone will figure this out. Someone will watch the video, will be like, oh, with a 45 degree angle and 400 on the X, then this is what you get. So don't worry, someone out there will figure it out. Right, for, that, for that person that's doing it, it's 700 millimeters long on the, on the Y axis, so. Math is hard. Is that an E3DB6? Yeah, uh, slice hot end. Ooh. The mosquito. Driving it up top is that. That's a, that's a Bontech. Okay. Bontech, LDO stepper motors, and the piece de resistance, the Duet Wi Fi inside, which I can show you really easily. Please do. Even the wires you can't see are beautiful. 
your mean well power supply, 350 watt, 24 volt, and your Duet Wi-Fi. You've got a Duet Wi-Fi running the machine. So the motor for the belts, I would imagine that's not a typical stepper motor. No, it's a uh, E3D 5 to 1 geared down stepper. For something like this, the prints that it can make are infinite in Z. So who's going to use something like this? Obviously, Mike making these wonderful weapons, but... Um... Anybody who wants to print something really long. I mean, if you want to try and break NASA's record, we could try and print an I-beam a couple hundred feet long. <laughs> but I don't have a vacuum chamber to do it in, so... I mean, I'm probably going to actually use this. Walter seems to like making his 3D printed printers. I'm seriously considering seeing if I can't go ahead and print him all the extrusion pieces and mail it to him so he can make his own 3D printed belt printer. He would do it too. Oh, he definitely would do it. Carl, this looks beautiful. Thank you so much for showing me. What do you have, I guess, last question would be, what do you have coming up? This this is beautiful, but is there is there something else going on? Do you have something on the burners that, that you want to talk about? Uh, hopefully for Earth, I want to do a scaled down version of this because I realize 400 by 430 is not practical for every home user. And I just happen to have a spool of hardened steel 9 inch wide belt material that I acquired through family friends. So I can scale this down to 57% which basically be 230 by 230 by infinite and half the size. I'm hoping to have that. We're going to call it the Squire since this is the White Knight. <laughs> That's perfect. And uh, I hope to have that at Earth. And if E3D ever releases all their tool changer, I did build this with the idea that maybe I could go ahead and make this a tool changer and have the Duex board mounted in here as well. That's why the one empty space. And also hoping to get the pallet running on this thing here soon too and do multicolor. Carl, this is an amazing machine. Thank you so much for letting me see it. I'm glad you got my attention, but there's only one way we truly end this. We fight. Okay.